What's going on? What's up, everybody? What is going on? Yo, telling you, life is a blessing. This your girl, Isis Love, tuning in live and direct from Tennessee. Yes, Tennessee, Nashville community down here touring around in the States. Oh my gosh, today is just such a beautiful day, everybody. Today, what I'm going to talk about is just something something that we all possess, you know, something that we all should be achieving to, you know, we're going to speak about, you know, God mode, and what does that mean to be in God mode, you guys, I'm going to tell you what it means to be in God mode, but before I do, I want to give some people some time to get on this call, peace, 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 peace and love, peace and love, okay, I want to give uh, everybody some time to get on here, and uh, before I, I speak about God mode and mastering the mind and being the master of your reality, I just want to say, you know, I'm super excited. I'm um, right here in the States. I'm on tour right now. I'm in Nashville. If anybody's in Nashville, hit me up. Um, I'm going to be going to um, Florida next, Miami uh, area, then Atlanta. Then I'm going down to North Carolina, so I'm just touring around, and I really would love to uh, just catch up and uh, meet with everybody. But, um, you know, what I'm going to talk about today is, you know, being in God mode. And what does that mean to be in, in God mode? What does that mean, God mode, right? So, you know, there's an old good saying, you know, whoever controls your time controls your mind, Right? If you don't know how to control your mind, if you don't even know how your mind works, then you're not going to be the master of your mind and you're going to let your emotions and your mind rule your reality instead of you taking control over your reality, right? And of course, that could be way, way easier said than done. I know it. And it takes practice, you guys. It really takes practice to to break through new new uh, neuron passageways, like to go from to go from like depressed or to go from yeah like to go from depressed and to go from like you know having your emotions take over you. It takes some like neurological reprogramming of the mind to get to that state. So you know. Things like this don't always uh, don't always happen overnight, you know. Some people do take what you will call a quantum leap because we know that the past and the future and the now are all simultaneously happening now, right? Because everything is now. You can't be like, well, I'm going to do it tomorrow because you don't know what's going to happen in the next couple of minutes, so... How could you do anything tomorrow, right? So I say all of this to say, whenever you feel like your mind is racing and you're just like focusing, because the power of concentration is very powerful. The moment in time you take your thought and you concentrate it on some type of, you know, person, place, or, you know, scenario, your mind beams down on that, right? And you can get trapped in that downward spiral. Especially if you're being worried and stressed about something that you think is going to happen. Like, you know, well, I don't want this to happen because this might happen. And what if I don't do this tomorrow and this happens? And I remember when I was young, that happened. So we're staying constantly in the moment of worry and doubt and fear, and that worry and doubt and that fear is what makes us depressed. And it makes us depressed because we're not being in the now moment. We're worried about what may happen or what could happen or what has already happened instead of where am I at now, right? So the moment that we can get in that nowness is the moment that we're able to take control over our mind. You see, our subconscious mind doesn't know linear time. Our subconscious mind doesn't know linear time. Linear time comes from the conscious mind, the thinking mind, the what am I going to do next mind, the what am I going to wear mind. That's the conscious mind. 
The subconscious mind is the mind that breathes with no thought. You just breathe. You just naturally breathe. You're not even controlling it. You just breathe on will. Your blood is circulating like it ain't no tomorrow and you're not even doing anything, right? That's the subconscious mind. So the moment that you're able to come at one with your subconscious mind, you turn into God mode. Why? Because you have learned how to let your subconscious mind be in the big seat. It's kind of like playing a video game, right? You're playing a video game. You are the controller of the controller, right? You are the controller of the controller. When you are mastering, mastering your reality and you're in God mode and your conscious and your subconscious mind has aligned, you are the creator of your reality. So let's go back to those tips to, to slowing the mind down. So the next time you find yourself, your mind going down the down spiral of what you don't have or how sick you may feel or whatever it may be that we kind of stress upon, I want you to try to, to try to stop. Try to stop yourself and be like, wait a minute. Am I still thinking about this? Am I still thinking about what I should have did before? Am I still thinking about the bill that I can't pay next week and it's only today? You got to stop yourself and be like, whoa, wait a minute. Can anybody agree? Have you guys ever been stuck in a, in a, in a thought and it just you just been stuck in it all day and it's like a down spiral? If that has happened to you before, let me know. Just be like, me too, you know, me too, right? So, you know, when you find yourself in that situation, just really, really try to stop. Even if you only stop for five minutes, only if for five minutes you become consciously aware of your thought. That is a start. You are already breaking certain type of blockages that you have in your neuron because this is all chemical and electrical. That's how the brain works. That's why I say know thyself. Know thy mind. Know how your mind thinks. If you don't know how your mind thinks, anybody can control your mind. Because we are all magicians. We are all, we all are magicians. And if you don't know how to control your mind, anybody can be implanting anything into your mind. So that's why you have to know thyself, right? So step one. Whenever you feel yourself going down that down spiral, take a moment, stop, breathe, breathe. I now know and I am aware of this pattern because it's a pattern. So you can stop yourself and say in this now moment, I am aware of this pattern. And then you could choose to change your mind. You know, you could choose to change your mind. You could choose to focus on a solution, right? We could choose to focus on a solution because by focusing on a solution, we take ourselves out of the victim and become the victor of our realities, right? Are, are y'all following me? Hey. Hey, somebody say, e. <laughs> if y'all are following me, I want y'all to comment 111 in the comment bar because I want to know that y'all are following me and that y'all are feeling me when I speak this, right? So another way to become the master over your mind and tap into God mode and be that God and that God is, that God is. You have to be able to be the master over your mind, not letting your emotions master you. See, when your emotions master you, you're like a ticking time bomb, right? We can't take anything personal in this reality. It is a matrix. It's a matrix. It's a stimul it's a simulation. That stimulates your brain. But you have to take control over your reality in this matrix. See, 
when you let your emotions take over, when you let your emotions take over, you are not in God mode. What happens is when your emotions take over, you be like, oh my God, he's talking about me. I'm upset. Or I'm mad because she said that about me. Or I'm upset because he don't like me. Or I'm mad because I can't find a lover. And you're letting that emotions, when you let those emotions take over you, you're not being the master over your mind. You're letting your emotions, who cares if he or she doesn't like you? Who cares? Because if it's bothering you, then that means you are reacting upon that and you are thinking that as so. Meaning you are agreeing to that person, whatever they say to you, if they don't like you because of this or they don't like you because of that. You are agreeing upon that. And that's why you're being emotional about that. But when you are the God... And you are in God mode, your subconscious mind and your conscious mind is aligning in one. That means you're being the master over your mind, you guys. Okay? That means you're living in the now moment. Because whatever's happening right now, like me, you, and all of us on here, this is the only thing you can attest for. You can see it. It's happening right now. I'm talking. You're on here. People are on here. But you cannot say what's about to happen in 10 minutes. I mean, really think about it. Can you really say in 10 minutes this is going to happen? Because you don't know. In 10 minutes, I might still be on live. I can't say in 10 minutes I'm going to get me something to eat because I can run across traffic. Are y'all following me? I'm trying to break it down so rudimentarily, so kid-like, so that a kid can understand it, you know? Because sometimes we need things broken down like that because it's far-fetched to understand, but it is what it is, and this is a matrix. So, I'm going to bring it back into those tips. So, you know, the next time you feel yourself getting frustrated, you just feel like you want to give up up you just feel like life is not on your side when you feel like that i want you to take a moment i want you to breathe i want you to inhale deep exhale with a high inhale deep exhale with a high inhale deep exhale with a high take a moment sit in that for a little bit Sit there for a little bit, right? And after you do, I want you to think about everything that you're grateful for. Let me tell you, just you breathing alone is a freaking blessing. Some people can't breathe. Some people are hooked up to a machine that got to breathe for them. But yet you complaining about life and you want to end your life and you want to kill yourself and you got breath. Some people don't even got breath. So in the middle of that frustration, I want you to do that meditation and I want you to think about all the things that you're blessed about. Let me tell you, to have water at your house is a blessing. Let me tell you, when I was in Mexico, I couldn't drink that water. I couldn't cook from that water. That water could be only used for being ba for bathing. So we all sitting here in the USA crying about water. You could drink the water in the USA. You can't drink the water in Mexico. To have fresh water is a blessing. Count your blessings. Are y'all following me? If y'all are following me, I want you to hashtag Isis Love in the comment bar. If y'all are inner and overstanding this message that's being channeled in from the ethers through me for you, I want you to comment and hashtag Isis Love, right? Because the moment you take the gratitude of what you have in your life, the more God, the more Allah, the more Buddha, the more Israel, whoever you want to call upon, because there's only one God. But the moment you call upon that, it is the moment that you tap into God mode because you are grateful about your now reality. 
okay? To have hot water is a blessing. When I was in Mexico, we didn't have hot water in my apartment. Now that I'm here living a little vida loca in Tennessee, I have hot water. That's a blessing. Why do I want to complain about my life when I have hot water? Why do I want to kill myself when I have hot water? Look, I take it a step deeper. My body is healthy. I have two arms, two legs, two feet. Some people don't got that. But you complaining about your life? No, 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 no. You need to count your blessings. No matter where you are in life. You need to count your blessings. Okay? That's the key thing. Count your blessings. The more you count your blessings, the more... Um, the more is going to come into your life. That's true God, God mode. You know what I'm saying? That's true God mode when you count your blessings, you guys. Because you know that you are infinite. When you know that you're infinite, you're not stressing over stuff. You're not stressing over stuff. You're not stressing about how the bill going to get paid. You're not stressing about that. Because you know that you are infinite. You know that you have let go and you have let God. And when I speak about God, I speak about the God in you. Because we fail to realize is that God is inside of us. When we go to church, we go to the temple to worship God, right? Well, your body is your temple. So you worship God through within you. See, you forgot your power. You forgot that you are the God. You have taken the power and you put it into some white Jesus. How you going to classify God Almighty that doesn't even have a vessel into some being, some man? Okay? We are in the matrix. Take control of your reality. If you don't like it, fix it. Don't complain about it. So let me give you another tip. The next time you feel like you can't, I want you to sit down and I want you to think about how you can. I want you to think about all the ways that you can get out of that situation that you are in. Because let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all, and if y'all are, if this information is resonating with y'all, I want y'all to share this. This needs to go viral. Think about how many family members, how many people are in the world right now are stressing. They need to hear this information. Think about how many people right now in this world want to kill themselves. Right now, some people want to kill themselves. Share this video. Hashtag ISIS love so they can find this video. Okay? So, the next time you find yourself saying, I can't. I want you to write down on the list, I can, I can, I can, yes, I can. If you can, I want you to comment, I can, yes, you can. Anything that you want to do, you can. You want to leave your job, you can. You want to bring in extra money, you can. You want to pay off your car loan, you can. You want to homeschool your kid, you can. Yes, I can, you can, okay? And then I want you to think about ways that you can do it. Let me tell y'all one thing I learned about Mexico. Them people did not go without any money because they knew they can. I talked to so many people all day. They like ISIS, ISIS, ISIS. I want to learn Forex. I see the benefit in Forex, ISIS, but I don't know how I'm going to pay for the 217 one-time fee membership. I say, yes, you can. Find a way. There's always a way. When I was in Puerto Rico, let me tell you, they're really big about fresh pressed juice. Fresh pressed juice. Fresh pressed juice. It's hot. It's summertime. Everybody wants some fresh pressed juice, you guys. In America, how much it costs to get some fresh pressed juice, y'all? Let me know how much it costs. In America, y'all, it costs about seven to nine dollars to go to one of these little juice bars and get some fresh pressed juice you guys people will be in mexico 
In, I seen this dude in a wheelchair selling fresh pressed juice. People will be on a bicycle selling the juices because they know people will want them. Those people did not go without making money. People will sell popsicles. People will sell like candy. They will have like single cigarettes. I'm not saying going out there to sell cigarettes because we don't want to sell that kind of stuff to people. But what I'm saying is they have ingenuity. They're not about to be without no money. So the next time you're stressed out, I want you to do your breathing exercise. I want you to think about all the things you're blessed about. And then I want you to think about how you can. What can you do? What kind of skills and services can you provide to the community and get reciprocity for? There's always a way. We can't continue to play victim. I want to do it, but I don't got no money. I want to do it, but I'm broke. Think about the words that you're speaking into your reality. You are the creator and the creatist of your reality. I mean, are y'all following me? I mean, are y'all following me? Because if y'all following me, I want you to hashtag Isis love and I want you to share this family. Let me tell you. Let me tell you one thing about reciprocity. Let me tell you one thing about giving and receiving. Let me tell you one thing about tithing. Tithing doesn't always have to look like you giving somebody some money. If all of you guys was to share this video right now, that is a form of tithing. Because what I am speaking is currency. And what I am speaking is wealth. And what I am speaking about is not always heard about. So that means that message needs to go out. That's how you can help somebody in your community by getting this information out. That's how you can help and support me by sharing this video. It's totally free. It's totally free. That is how we're going to reach our community. Each one should teach one. Teach one, each one. Okay? <laughs> I just kind of threw that together. But I'm fired up today, you guys. I'm fired up. Spirit is coming through, you guys. So, you know, those are just a couple of tips to help you become the master of your mind because money will no longer be an issue love will no longer be an issue if you could just start to love yourself more and stop worrying about trying to find love you out there searching for love in all the wrong places because you just want to be loved by somebody what about you love yourself what about you love yourself? What about you rub your body down? Massage your own feet. Make love to your own self. You know? Hold on. I got to sneeze, you guys. Hey, you! Ancestors is around. Anytime ancestors come around, I start to sneeze. But you guys are fired up. You know, I can go on for days because I am a channel. But I know that my message has helped each and every one of you that's going to watch this today. You know, today is a blessed day in Tennessee, you guys. Share this video. If you like what I've been talking about, you know, share this video. Check me out on YouTube, Isis Love. Um, if you're in Nashville, you guys, hit me up. You know, the greatest of all times, teaching people about becoming financially free, you guys. And I don't just talk it, I walk it. I am officially financially free, so it is my pleasure to teach everyone my strategy on how I became financially free. No debt, no loans, no student loans, no car payments, no car loans, nothing. All of my money goes straight to me, you guys, and I'm so super fired up, be touring around, you know, Tennessee, Atlanta, Texas, Charlotte, Florida, you know, just hit me up, you guys. So everybody have a wonderful day. Don't forget, be the master of your mind. It's God mode time. 2020 is coming up.